Dude, I had no idea that you were Jewish. <laughs> Obviously, you never looked down when we were in the shower before. Obviously. That doesn't tell you someone's religion anymore. I'm Catholic and uncut. So what are you, from France or something? <laughs> Wisconsin. Lots of guys aren't cut anymore. That's an old school thing. I guess. Besides, haven't gotten any complaints yet. Other than it's too big. <laughs> Tough steam room, geez. What about you? Haven't seen you in the showers. What are you sporting under that towel? An anteater or a mushroom cap? I'm cut, happy, and proud of it. And I heard it's a lot more sanitary that way. Uh, that's ridiculous. Who are you gonna trust? Your rabbi or frickin' Darwin? Nature made it perfect. Uncut is better. I mean, my meat missile is wearing a turtleneck. What's more perfect than that? It's like a pig in a blanket. It's covered in a delicious pastry where it can just glide in and out of, you know? Whereas when you have sex, I bet that's like a, a scene from the movie Psycho. I mean, you're just stabbing your victim mercilessly with your meat spear, right? Whereas when I have sex, I'm like the silver surfer just gliding wherever I please. Yes, I never quite thought of it like that. You get that extra bit of skin and the benefits of all the extra nerve endings. <laughs> right? I mean, yours, I, yours is like trying to taste your food without a tongue. Uh, no, hold on, I don't know about that. I mean, mine does feel pretty damn good, right? Yeah, yeah. now I'm confused. <laughs> well, trust me, uncircumcised penis has way more pleasure to it. I don't know, bro. If mine felt any better in my hand, I would never leave the house. Exactly, if I could get any more pleasure out of my own penis, I would never let go of it. <laughs> okay, see where you're coming from. But there really is only one way to find out which has the better way. I like your sense of competition. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go download some raw gay porn and we're gonna get a big tube of gun oil and uh, we're gonna meet at my apartment in 20 minutes and then we're gonna see which one of you two can uh, cross the finish line, so to speak. And whoever does it first is the most sensitive sausage. Oh, you are so on. Yeah, meet at your house in 20 minutes. You better be ready to rumble. Oh, I'm gonna bring an extra box of Kleenex. Things are gonna get soggy. <laughs> Bitch. <sighs> Now, you do know everything you said is untrue, and that silly little contest, it's not gonna prove anything. No shit, but you know how hot that competition's gonna be? Could you use another referee? Of course. Why don't you grab your whistle and a checkered flag? Oh, and some goggles, because it's gonna sting. Ooh. What are you in such a rush for? Uh, the ten-year plan. Our new movie's coming out, but I don't know when, and it's killing me. It's out in festivals right now. It'll be out on DVD late 2014. Oh, so I can just go to tenureplanthemovie.com and see what festivals is playing in right now? Exactly. And you can always watch e Cupiders or Just Me Again. And we always have the Steam Room Stories episodes on DVD. Oh, well, it's gonna be a long night. That's why I brought these. Oh. <laughs>